Hi, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm on here today to do a really quick and short video. Uh, I did receive my flash sale haul and when I opened it I realized I didn't really order that much. <laughs> and part of the reason was, as I've told in a previous video, I was camping and uh, my niece and I hopped in the car, drove down the mountain from the campsite to the closest spot where we could get re cell reception. Uh, it turns out it was the parking lot of the little general store in the village down, uh, down from the campsite. And so we sat there and ordered, but I, <laughs> I wasn't sure what, of course I didn't know what to expect in the flash sale. And then I, it was just like a frenzy. So we were in and out. <laughs> Uh, in hindsight now, I wish I'd grabbed a few more things. If I'd have been home, I would have definitely hauled more. Anyway, I thought I'll hop on here quickly and share this with you. Um, before I start with that, I just, uh, I had watched a video a couple of days ago. Robin H. had done a video and in it actually, she brought up the the things that her, arrive when you order a Sensi order of wax in the summer months and she was talking about the bag and the and the coal pack etc and she had asked what do people do with those coal packs and I thought I'm going to just quickly share my tips with you so the coal what we're talking about is it comes with these ice packs and they're frozen well usually by the time they get here they're not frozen uh, wrapped in these are wrapped in this sort of uh, cotton with the backing it, so they're wrapped in there and then they're put in this Ziploc bag and then those along with the bars are put in this mylar pouch and it's really a cool pouch with a self-sealing flap and I keep all this stuff and use it I'll tell you what I do with it um, the uh, bag for starters is a perfect is a really good quality actually <laughs> And it's a perfect size for catalogs. So what I do is I save them and then for the customers I'm delivering catalogs and maybe a couple of samples, some felt samples or cubes from wax or whatever and deliver them. I can stick a little note in there. So I've used them for that. I also use them, of course, for everyday things. I love having uh, bags to recycle. Uh, one of the things I use them for is these are my discs from my warmers and as I've said before and shared before I take these disc, discs camping and I warm them on the fire on the on the wood fire at the campground. So I store them, fill these up, put them down in my uh, storage cupboard and just collect them until I go camping or go to a bonfire uh, in the river valley in my city. Um, if you use wood fires in your backyard, a fire pit, you could use them on that. Um, I would be careful though because they're very, they're an accelerant. They really do bring up the flame. So anyway, I use them to um, cart stuff like that around. Anyway, great bags. Love getting them. Then you've got this cotton piece with the rub plastic, plasticky back. And what I do is I always bag in my garbage cans in my kitchen, but I do like to have, I used to put a piece of paper towel on the bottom before I put the bag in because things sometimes, you know, leach or whatever. And this is great because I put the plastic side down and then any kind of spills or goop end up on this. I also use this in my cooler. Um, you know, if I'm taking a food cooler, I often will freeze things you know, freeze those uh, ice packs and then I put my food in them and there's condensation. And so I line the bottom of my cooler with this and it keeps a little less goopy on the bottom. Or in a picnic basket, if I'm doing, you know, if I'm carrying say sandwiches and um, fruit cups or, you know, anything like that, I also line, I have a little kind of picnic basket that I take when we go say for the day somewhere. So these are great for that. Garbage liners, cooler liners, picnic basket liners. They're great uh, to have for that. Now the ice packs, they say right on them, do not eat, do not apply to your body. 
That makes sense. I mean, it would be very cold because they can they freeze solid, solid. I haven't used them for uh, swelling or anything, but I wouldn't hesitate myself to put them on my body. I would wrap them in a towel and apply them as a compress. Uh, but what I usually do with them, I freeze them. I have a, a stack of them and then I keep them like this, just loosey goosey. And then if I know I'm going camping or I'm gonna go on a picnic and need my cooler, I, I stick them in my freezer. They freeze quickly. And then what I do is I take them and I slip them inside this Mylar bag. Now this Mylar bag is, first of all, it reflects the heat. So if you've got your cooler, say under a picnic table or on your campsite, I put a couple, you can easily fit two, um, my, uh, two of these in the Mylar pouch. And then I uh, put them on top. I put one underneath and one on top of my the contents of my cooler and it helps keep the coolness in from the bottom as well as from the top these do eventually you know uh, thaw and get a little you know moist I think condensation and so they're inside the bag and none of that gets transferred anywhere in the um, into the cooler or onto the products in the cooler. Anyway, I also, we also often do an ice cooler with drinks in it, buy a big bag of ice, cover all the drinks, and then I lay these on top. It just helps keeps, keep the ice in play a little bit longer. So I keep these, uh, we've used them in our trailer. We have these dome windows with um, blinds that go up and down. And uh, on really, really hot days, we have a couple cut to fit some of the smaller windows and you just slip them in behind the blind and it just is an extra layer of insulation so there's tons of things you can do with these i keep them all i do and i've used them all for different things so just thought i'd share those little tips um as well and i know that there were some uh, robin had some really great ideas too so anyway that's my little lesson on what to do with all the stuff you get in the summer from Sensi. And I kind of miss it all when it goes away in the winter, but I'm glad to have them. Anyway, uh, I did haul some bars. I did well, haul um, a cleaning and a warmer. So I'll quickly share those with you. I'll start with my, I've been looking at um, this very snowy spruce cleaning bundle. I used it last winter. I love the scent of this. It's very wintry, piney. I love it. Um, so I, uh, I had looked at it in clearance, but when it was in the flash sale, it was very inexpensive. And I knew that I wasn't going to get it even at half price as cheap as I could get these two pieces in the clearance. So now I have them, I'll tuck them away for the winter time. I mean, I hope they bring very snowy spruce back and cleaning, but um, the fact that it's in clearance makes me wonder. So anyway, I did get that, love the scent. I did get bars. Now, I can kick in myself that I didn't get more. <laughs> I did get uh, three sandalwood tangerine, and this was in the Father's Day bundle that we just had. It was actually not in the bundle, in the collection. They had the bundle of uh, four bars, and then they had this as a new bar. And it is like white cedar, tangerine, and sandalwood. And I really, really like it. I have it in my club. Uh, right now, but I did haul three here and I think um, I might have two more in my stash So that's five bars and as I've mentioned before my thought on um, Collections like Father's Day is that they uh, this bar I think was quite popular and that maybe it'll come back next Father's Day Anyway, I love it and so now I'm thinking I could take it out of my club and I'll see, I do really like it. I, I should take it out of my club, five bars. But it, one, uh, my living room takes a whole bar, my living room foyer. So, you know, five bars won't take, it won't take me long. And then if I get one every three months, it's in my husband's club, so I'll get another one right away because it is in the cl club right now. And his cl club is shipping in a week or 10 days. So anyway, got three of those. Then I, of course, got three a vanilla bourbon. This one I did take out of my club because I have, I had hauled, I think I have two of these as well. And then I thought three, I have a lot of vanilla scents that I like. So I could 
these could go into play with like simply vanilla and vanilla bean buttercream and uh, vanilla waves and all of the vanillas that I love. So um, I don't think I'll, I think these will do. So I have about five bars now, three of these. And this is warm vanilla, bourbon, and nutmeg. Oh, it smells so good. And as I mentioned, I did have it in my club previous. It was very light last time. Last year it was in the Father's Day bundle as well, and I warmed it, but I had a hard time smelling it. And this year I've warmed a couple of bars now, and it's done way better. So even cold, on cold, it smells stronger. And I, I wonder if they didn't amp up the oils in here. It's very nice, so I'm glad to have those three. So I have those three, and then my final three bars were, and I should have ordered more of this, <laughs> sorry. Ghostly Greetings, now I got three of those. I have never smelt it, so I was sort of going, I ordered it, I thought, there's a few people that have reviewed it and love, love, love this, and those the same people that love it are people who love quite a few scents that I love, so I, you know, and the scent notes. This was the scent of the month in September of 2020, and it was the bar that went with the mun, uh, the mummy, you know, the mummy um, warmer and mini that are part of, um, I think they're in clearance now, actually, that little mummy warmer. This bar went with that for the scent of the month in September of 2020. Oh, I can't believe it didn't make the, uh, the catalog or come back last Halloween. It's such a great scent, and now that I've actually, my, my niece and I both hauled three, three bars of this. Um, I wish I'd hauled six. Um, it's a black plum, spice berry with a dash of bourbon. But then I went and researched the notes, the um, top note, mid note, and base note. And I wrote them down here. Let me see. The top note is clove, pink pepper, and divania. And that is a spice, I know that. It's an Indian spice. And then the mid notes are amber woods, plum and berry. And then the base wood notes are sandalwood, patchouli, cream, cedar, and musk. Right up my alley. It's so pretty. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I haven't warmed it, but my niece has, and she said it's wonderful. Anyway, that was, I would love to see this come back in um, in the in the, ha at Halloween, and this is a new pour. It's got uh, the symbols and you know the new logo and a nice um, bit of art on it. So fingers crossed. I'd love to see that. Anyway, those are my bars. What a sad story, eh? <laughs> I could have gotten so many more. <laughs> anyway, what I did grab and sort of drew my attention away from everything else was something I've been looking at for ages. Um, but I thought, oh, Linda, this, it, 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 it's gonna have to have its own unique home because it's not gonna fit in, in my main floor decor. But I, I just was drawn to it. And that is <laughs> the Mandalorian, the child warmer. <laughs> it's so, a collector's item, I think. Anyway, I unboxed it already, of course. Uh, it, first of all, it's way larger than I imagined. And here it is. And it's an element warmer. And look at the dish. It's got the Mandalorian helmet in it. The dish sits on it. Looks like he's sitting. And it's got some great detail. Like the back of the his clothes have all the little stitching. His finger, little fingers. Isn't he cute? I love him. Anyway, he is meant, I'll either put him in, I'm not going to put him in my lady parlor right now because my grandchildren are going to be using that and I've got it kind of zen in there. What I have in mind for him is um, my family room downstairs. Uh, it's a big uh, space and I have, like I say, it's my sort of den library. It's got that vibe with a little bar in the corner that we never we have decorative glasses we never use um but i'm a bit of a an, a, a sci-fi nerd believe it or not <laughs> um i love uh star trek star wars i watched the mandalorian i like that spin-off um i mean i have uh quite a few spock items downstairs um 
because my actually when I was younger my when I was a teenager I it, my friends teased me sometimes and called me Spock because I always said that's not logical <laughs> that's my saying um, I have uh, a display case with all of the uh, Starfleet uh, insignia <laughs> good guys bad guys as well anyway I've got a bunch of little tchotchkes like that and so I thought he would be so cute on uh, I have a side table and it's an element warmer which I like and I just love this little dish <laughs> anyway that's what I did and you know this is Canadian dollars 20 I think it was 73 in the regular catalog and in the flash sale it was $23 how can you not go and get it at 23. I was sort of humming and hawing before that thinking, oh, Linda, you're, you're an old woman. <laughs> what do you want with this? But at $23, heck. <laughs> so here he is and I'm thrilled. So uh, I'm gonna set him up in his home. I might take a picture and put it on Instagram. Anyway, that's my haul. I'm sure everyone else has got loads more than me, but I just wanted to hop on here and share that with you guys and uh, let you know what I picked up. Um, I'm going to uh, do an empties video probably in the next day or so because I want to have that basket empty uh, before everyone gets here. They're arriving on Monday and today is Friday and I'm busy getting organized for that. Uh, my husband's club is shipping on the 26th so I'll be getting that and I'm going to do uh, one more haul from the spring summer catalog because it is blazing hot here. It is like mid 30s I think it's gonna be 33 or 34 or 5 today here and that's about mid 90s high 90s in Fahrenheit Anyway, it's gonna be a scorcher uh, Thankfully, it's not very humid where I live. So that's a blessing uh, And we do have central air. <laughs> so that's a blessing too um, but uh, Anyway, uh, I, I need some spring and summer bars to continue warming. I'm not gonna be able to do pumpkin roll in, <laughs> in August if it keeps being this hot. So I will do another haul and grab a couple bundles of uh, spring and summer bars while they're still available and discounted. And then I uh, have ordered, and it's taken forever to even ship, is the, um, my, testers of my catalogs and then I got the 10 bar new release kit so that I can do those eight bars or 10 bars rather I just said 10 bars 10 bars and um, share my thoughts on those new bars so I I'm waiting for those I'll do a video when that those get here and um, as I've mentioned before trying to find a, a quiet spot to do it I might end up in my basement <laughs> anyway thanks so much for tuning in um, Oh, <laughs> I appreciate your support. I appreciate you uh, coming back again and again, and uh, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.